So this is my house, this is my transport, and I'm going to take you out on a ride around my town. She gets on her banana bike and pedals all around. She gets on her banana bike and travels through the town. There's just no stopping her, this is for sure. She gets on her banana bike and pedals more and more. This is the Provincial Agriculture and Forestry Office, and this is where my lab is. So this is where myself and the team come in most days and process our samples that we collect in the field. We do pest diagnostics. And we're also trying to get it up and running as a plant pathology uh, laboratory too. So this is the mighty Mekong and another stunning sunset. So straight across the river, you have Muktahan, which is Thailand. It gets really busy down here of an afternoon because you've got teenagers who use it as a social place. You get families who come down to eat. So I've always been interested in agriculture, in working with farmers and developing ag practices so that a farmer can produce more sustainably, get more from less and it's better for everyone. And my work's really important here because I've got a couple of really good basic skills in entomology and agricultural development. And I can pass these on to the people that I work with and then they can then pass them on to farmers. So it's a matter of giving someone some tools to identify some pests and beneficials, making some simple management uh, decisions and growing 50 cabbages instead of 20. Oh, honestly, I can't name one. Probably just going out in the field and collecting all these amazing insects that I would never have gotten a chance to do if I didn't come over here. All these amazing bright coloured beetles and bugs, wasps and spiders. Because it's amazing <laughs> and the people are beautiful. The food's fantastic. It's, it's crazy and dusty all at the same time and I just love it. If you're looking for something different to home, this is definitely the place to come. This is where I usually come of an evening to get dinner. So barbecued fish, chicken, pork. Uh, you can get things like Lao sausages, which are fantastic. Tai hoop ahan. Koyao ani. I have a barbecue chicken lady that I like. I have a papaya salad lady that I like. I have a sausage man that I like. And I also have an egg shop that I like. Pabgamai! Savannah Kit's not that big, so it's pretty easy to become comfortable with going to certain places where they recognize you. And it's a really nice feeling when they actually start charging you local prices rather than full-on Western prices. If you were coming to Laos, the only two pieces of advice that I could give you is come with patience. Lao time can be very flexible and disorganized. And just come with no expectations and a good sense of humor. The people here are amazing and super friendly. Another really good piece of advice is that basic Lao gets you a long way. Just trying to use small simple phrases like counting and hello and how much is and how are you goes an amazingly long way here and bring a helmet. <laughs> well, I've always wanted to work in agricultural development and over the last few years finishing off my PhD, I've realized that I've really wanted to focus on international ag development. After attending the Crawford Fund conference a few years back in Canberra as a young scholar, I realized that all of the skills that I've got and everything I've been working towards fits perfectly in this role. And when this position came up, it was as though it had been written for me. So taking on this volunteer role is only going to lead to more and more opportunities further down the track in my career. I'm getting all this hands-on experience in the field and helping growers at the same time. And going through an organisation with the Crawford Fund as an Australian partner organisation that gives me the best hand up to step into a career.
the most dangerous aspect of WOW, the thousands of mangy dogs. <laughs> <laughs>